Hello, Henderson County High School. The time is now to start a new year of Colonel Cast News. We've been planning and strategizing some ways to bring you all some news about what's going on in your school, town, state, and the world. So for today, we're going to talk about how the sports seasons are going so far and take a look at a new local attraction. We're super excited to be doing this again, so let's get started. else, we have an important update from the Colonels for Change headquarters. Hey, Kirsten, thank you again for all y'all support and, and coming back live here at Colonels for Change headquarters. We're here at the Being Kind Central Station, okay? We're right now waiting on the Colonel to arrive to us to give us a new message today on what we're pushing out. Hey, Colonel, how are you? Good. What are you doing? What message do we have today? Uh, SpaghettiOs? We have a message about SpaghettiOs today. No, not SpaghettiOs? Oh, he, he brought a can of SpaghettiOs just to show you guys that it has a label on it. And what does a label tell us, Colonel? That's right. A label tells you what's in the can. It kind of lists it on the can. But sometimes labels can be negative, right? Yes. He's talking about when you label each other just by seeing somebody and making a false judgment. Is that correct? Yes. Now, what else? What, did they, what do labels do to people? Right. The colonel wants you guys to know that when you put a negative label on somebody, it could really hurt somebody's feelings and really have a negative impact on their life. So he wants you guys to be aware of that. And he said, don't forget that famous quote, don't judge a book by its cover. Do you have anything else for us? Oh, he has made a video for you guys. So I'm going to throw it to the video right now for the colonel. Give us a thumbs up.
Are you okay, Colonel? He, I think he needs some Kleenexes after that video. Do you have another message you want to finish us off with? What's that? He wants to challenge all of our Henderson County High School students to make this world a better place. Don't make judgments on others and let's spread kindness everywhere. Hey County, I'm Nick. And I'm Brenna. And this is Colonel Culture. This week, we went to Butler's Apothecary to talk to Chris Butler about his business. So Butler's Apothecary is a full-scale pharmacy here in downtown Henderson. It does um, um, full-scale compounding, so we also bill insurance for that. We do strep and flu testing here. I can prescribe on site for those. I do um, all immunizations age nine and up, and then of course our pharmacy services. We do free delivery. Um, I think that's kind of all of it in a nutshell. My wife and I are both from here, so we decided what better place to start than here. Now this is my only location, so I plan to go into Morganfield and Owensboro next after this, but once we get this one stabilized, you know, we'll just do the cookie cutter model. Works here, we'll just drop it in the next couple places. So this building was originally a Frank G. Schmidt wholesale grocer, food, tobacco products, and all of that. So he had all three. So I bought the building next to this one as well. I don't know what we're going to do with that yet, but it was just part of the deal. So pitched it in. Ours is customer service. I mean, by far, tenfold. So I do something a little bit different than all the other ones. I also give out my cell phone number. I'm available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, drug questions, it doesn't always monetarily tied. So just because you're not coming in and giving me a prescription to fill for you, you may have a drug interaction question, a drug dose question. If there's a child that's under the age of two, any products that are being sold don't have any pharmacist or a doctor. So I'm also going to be, I, I'm, the latter's probably the easier one to get a hold of. So I take text messages, phone calls. I have a um, app that I use that is complete HIPAA compliant, so I can answer any personal questions there. Exchange photos, so if you needed to send me your insurance card or any of that, it's all still within the HIPAA realm. It's not done like on a regular text message cell phone, so there is rules and barriers there, but it wasn't terrible, and the community seems to really like the aspect of having four hours a day. Not like say that if you don't um, go to the, say you go to the ER at 10 o'clock at night now, um, walk the closest one I think is CVS in Newburgh, so you would just call me, I would come in and fill the prescription and you could go on home and not have to do the whole drive and whatnot, so. Well, I'm ready for some ice cream. Next up is sports update. Hey Anderson County, it's me Luke Payne with your first sports update of the year. Today I'm talking about volleyball and football and volleyball this year they have their ups and downs with a 9-8 and eight record but they had to forfeit district because of COVID. Next week is regionals so we're hoping they can win there. And then football. Alright, football this year has got a winning record. Uh, tonight's game we got a game against McCracken County, very big game. It'll be the it'll be the differential between if we get home field advantage or if we have to go to McCracken during the playoffs. And it's a very big game, very important to us, very good team. And next week we're gonna be playing Owensboro. That's another very important game. And yeah. And congratulations to Ben Dalton get 302 yards, breaking the school record. It's all about the O lineman too though. We got it for him. Thank you, Brecken. Congrats to Ben Dalton again. That was sports update with Luke Payne and Brecken. Thank you for tuning in to this spirit-filled episode of The Colonel Cast. We hope to be back as soon as possible with more about what's going on in your world. Please be sure to follow at Colonel Cast on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until then, stay safe, County. This is Colonel Cast, signing, signing out. out.